guys welcome to another episode of tech portal in this video i am going to show you how to install custom rom in your samsung galaxy g7 so to do this you must have a twrp recovery installed in your g7 so check out my video the links are given in the description so without wasting time let's get started first download custom rom the links are given below the subscribe button and now power off your device you can copy your custom rom to internal or external wherever you want so now boot into recovery mode press this volume up power and home key simultaneously for about 4 to 5 seconds and just leave it now we are in recovery mode here you can see this first you have to create a backup because it is very necessary in any case if you lost any data you can recover it with your backup just click on this backup and select boot data and system EFS and set it to internal or external wherever you want and just click on ok and swipe to back and after that if you want to restore click on this restore and select this and slide to restore so first we have to wipe so do advance wipe and data only three parts don't touch internal storage and just swipe sorry you have to wipe system also so now just swipe to wipe now whenever I click on this reboot system it says at no OS install it means it has factory reset so now click on this install and go to the file where you have stored it here it is j700 zip just swipe to confirm flash it takes around one or two minute to install so I am skipping that part here you can see that super su and busy box has already installed so there is no need to i think root our device so now we have to clear cache just wipe to wipe it now just boot into your system it takes around 4 to 5 minutes to uh, complete its loading Uh, and also it is free from bloodwares because uh, one of our developer uh, copied it with its stock rom it is same as the stock but many of the bloodwares are removed from this and that's why it is only around 400 mb and also lots of space can, can be free from your ram it takes around only 300 or 400 mb from about 1.5 gb and yes it is a tutorial of how to install custom rom so there is no need to tell you anything about it later on whenever any new rom will come you can follow the same method as i am showing you in this video to install custom rom so i am skipping that part because it takes around 5 to 6 minutes so here we are with the first custom kernel of Samsung Galaxy G7 it is look like same with this stock but it has all the bloatwares removed you can see this there are only few apps like 20 apps I think only installed and yeah we have the ES file explorer installed in this and it is very smooth and very touch responsive you can see this and let's check how many how much RAM is required for this you can see this it is using 810 MB and around 400 MB of RAM is free but it is quite responsive 
and you can see the super SU installed in this it means that you don't have to root your G7 it is pre-rooted and you can also use smart manager here let's check battery life my battery is around 80 uh, it is learning usage patterns and from here a new feature is there users you can add uh, you can add user a guest account also so let's all with it and soon I am going to upload a video on how to install custom kernel in your Samsung Galaxy G7 it will help you to increase your battery life or you can also make your Galaxy G7 more faster so stay tuned and I hope you like my video if any queries comment below thank you